All right, so here is a quick video on King Woblin 1. Uh, I'm going to be focusing on the good RNG of this fight. So after you hit King Woblin three times, you will either turn left or right. If it turns left, that's bad RNG. If it turns right, that's good RNG. Um, it might not be that easy to see that he turns right, because sometimes he... It depends where you are in the fight, how much he turns right. But basically, like if he doesn't turn left after your third hit, then you have a you have gotten good RNG. Uh, there's no difference in damage when it comes to uh, a regular sword slash and a quick spin. So I advise just doing regular slashes and then you can do a quick spin on the second to last hit just to have like a, a larger uh, hurt box when you approach him again. Um, so the important thing is that you need to time your slashes because as soon as you slash him, he will be invulnerable for a short amount of time. And you don't want to slash during that period. So you want to wait out the um, invulnerability and then slash again. And that timing is actually a bit trickier than you might expect. So at least if you want to get successful timing hits on him for like all the first six hits. So you hit him three times. Hopefully he turns right or like sort of like straight ahead slash right. And then you do three more hits. And on that, on that uh, sixth hit, he will then turn left. He will start to like charge ahead. Like you need to turn left so you follow him. If your opponent doesn't sort of like hit the boar, then you can catch up to him really quickly. But if you kind of like stagger on the boar for a bit, then um, you might need to do like a couple extra dashes to to catch him. But during that final chase, you might as well uh, charge B so you can do a charge spin attack, just just so you have the increased range when you're approaching him again. And then one final slash. So uh, hopefully I got the good RNG on this uh, safe state. Oh yeah, um, so a common, mis a common mistake is to dash as soon as possible. You don't want to do that. Um, you want to mash B to draw out your sword, because you need that for the fight, obviously. Um, and then as soon as you see the boar move, that's when you want to dash with the, po with the pono. Sorry, I'm still a bit sick. So right there, I saw the boar dash, so that's when I dash as well. And then I kind of want to curve myself, like, sort of up left. That's the, that's the goal. And then you target him, and you start the slashes. So that's what a good fight looks like. Um... I'm using C-Stick a little bit, so I can get a better camera when he turns. And then I try to turn Epona towards him uh, after the 6th hit. Uh, without bonking the... like, without uh, staggering the... into the boar. That's the bad RNG. Um, I'm not gonna cover that because it's it's pretty complicated to save. Yeah, so right there, I I hit the boar right before the la the last hit. So um, Epona kind of went over to the right a bit. So you want to try to avoid that from happening. Um, but yeah, the important part is timing your slashes, like, so you don't press B too quickly. Um, and then knowing, like, when King Boblin will turn. Because you know that he will turn after three slashes, like, the, like the, first, the first set of three slashes and the second set of three slashes. So on slash number three and on slash number six, he will turn. So good RNG means that he, like, does not turn left on the third one. And then uh, after the sixth slash, he will always turn left, uh, and you need to be ready for that. So like as soon as you do the sixth slash, you want to turn left with him, um, and then preferably without hitting the boar, so opponent doesn't like stagger.